Hello dear students, I am happy that you all are keeping well at home. Today we will study again English Grammar Chapter 10, Gender. The word gender is used to describe the characteristics of women and men that are socially constructed. In English, there are four genders, namely masculine gender, feminine gender, common gender, and neutral gender but in today's class we will study only two genders feminine gender and masculine gender now let us read the sentences given in the book the first sentence is this is ananya she is a girl here we can see that ananya is a girl and also denoted with the pronoun she and in the previous chapter, we already learned that the pronoun C is used for female. So we can conclude and understand that names of all females are called feminine gender. Now let us see the second sentence. This is yes. He is a boy. Here we can see that yes is a boy and also again denoted with the pronoun he. And again in the previous chapter, we already learned that the pronoun he is used for male. So we can again conclude and understand that names of all males are called masculine gender. Now let us read the following. Brother, sister grandfather grandmother gentleman lady son daughter uncle aunt husband wife nephew niece father mother sir madam bull cow so dear students, from this chapter, we learned and understood that names of all females are feminine gender and names of all males are masculine gender. That's all for today's class. Hope you understood the lesson. Thank you.